My name is James Alexander Kerr, Jr. And I want to talk to you about an important question. How do you get in touch with Jesus Christ? Well, it's simple. The easiest way is to kind of consider growing up in a Christian family. Your mother and your father and your family members most likely would be knowledgeable of Jesus Christ. In my personal case, that's all there were. There wasn't any non-believers. Every one of them were Christians. Now you say, well, I, you were lucky. That's true. But we still went the same way. We got into a Bible-believing church. We went every Sunday. In fact, my grandfather, who always took me to church, set the example. My father, who always said, I'll pick you up from church. My grandmother, who quizzed me, what did you learn? And who did they teach you? Because she knew them all down there. That's why we call them saints. They were about bringing the word. So that's good. But then you go to school and you start to see other people who don't see it your way. Well, it's real simple. You learn from everybody. There's nobody I know that's right 100% of the time, okay? And there's nobody I know that's wrong 100% of the time. So you learn from other people. And that gives you a chance to talk to people about what you believe in. What are your bedrock principles that make you a kingdom builder, a Christian? a follower of Jesus. Then you can go to other people, other Christians who help you. If you admire somebody, if you've got a hero and they're a Christian, they'll give you some tips, what not to do, how they did things, what happened in their life. You also get other books. An example would be, if you go to university, you've got to come on a C.S. Lewis, the greatest atheist in the world. And then he changed. Read mere Christianity if you really need somebody who was on the other side and converted. There's other things too. Watch how people act because in the end, you're following a person. You're listening to another person. If they do things that are the basic bedrock principles of Christianity, you've got a good trail going. And then you get down to choices. When you make a choice, you got to understand there's a circumstance. It's like the straight and narrow got two big ditches on either side. Legalism and license. Both of them will knock you down and make you go away. This world is set up for testing. Jesus Christ said in the book of Job, it's all about testing and in the end, Job repented and said, there is a God. That's why I believe that you can get many sources to help you on your Christian walk. Not all of them are going to apply, but some of them are definitely going to be part of your testimony. You can't have a test if you don't have your testimony.